On the same day that Germany suffered shock defeat, with Belgium just scraping past Canada, Spain would have gone into their game with Costa Rica with slight anxiety. Except there were no nerves at all. From the very start, Spain dominated play and made Costa Rica look like training dummies to be quite frank. But how did they make it look so easy and what tactics did Luis Enrique use? Let's head over to the tactics board to find out. Having averaged just over 70% possession throughout the last Nations League phase, Spain were always going to set out to have full control of the ball. As such, a strong base that promoted the possession-keeping gospels of positional rotation and ball circulation was obvious, with Enrique deploying the traditional 4-3-3 system. Now this was always going to happen, but Enrique did bless us with an unexpected surprise, and bosh! That was Rodri at centre-back, operating next to his Manchester City teammate, Aymeric Laporte. Rodri excelled in the back line and wouldn't have noticed too much difference compared to his role at Manchester City, just because he was so proactive. And this was thanks to Enrique's organisation of the back line in the possession phase. Now, if you're going to take anything away from this video, let it be the method of asymmetrical fullback positioning. Part of Rodri's function in the back line was down to the positioning of the fullbacks, with Cesar Azpilicueta beautifully equipped for this with his ability to play as a central defender. In possession, Spain would deploy a back three, with Rodri able to operate as a sweeper, allowing Busquets to sit ahead with the ability to push up when needed. And the Barcelona man was integral to the spine of the Spanish setup, with his presence vital to the out of possession phase hence his ability to hold his position. Overall, the impact of Busquets and Rodri to this side was vital, and you can see how active Rodri was as a centre-back via this heat map. One of the most impressive things about Spain in this game was their ability to recover the ball instantaneously. This was down to their rest defence, which, like a scarecrow, was outstanding across the field. Ha, huh, yeah, I'm not going to do that. Essentially, on the rare occasion that Spain lost possession, they'd recover the ball in their native 4-3-3 shape, with an initial press into a mid-block. At the back, numerical superiority was a constant, with the makeshift back three always accompanied by Busquets or even Jordi Alba on a number of occasions. It gave license for the front five to roam and rotate with spaces behind already covered by the immaculate approach from Enrique. The front five in the attacking build-up had an absolute field day, hence their haul of seven goals. They were completely free to express themselves, which, as we've covered, was made possible by the structure at the back. But another factor that made it almost impossible for Costa Rica to retrieve the ball was down to Spain's ability to rotate and use the half spaces. Although both wingers were constantly pinned out wide, this role was rotational and acted as a checkpoint for Spain to commence their act of astute ball circulation. Rotation from the likes of Olmo, Alba, Pedri and Asensio was ever present, with the aforementioned essentially swapping positions on a temporary basis. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and drop a like if you'd like to see more videos like this. And also, don't forget to check out TotalFootballAnalysis.com for more esteemed football content for the thinking football fan. Other than that, we'll see you in the next one.